Dear colleagues, this is a soft cataract and the patient had intraoperative floppy iris which was noted during management of nucleus. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us watch the surgical steps. The main incision has been made. Now viscoelastic substance has been injected into the anterior chamber. Now two paracentesis incisions are made, one on the right side, another one on the left side. Now capsular excess is done. In this case, I am using the 26 case band needle to do rexis. I am not using uterata forceps in this case. And it is very much possible to do rexis with the needle itself in most of the cases. That's it. The rexis is done. Now hydro dissection is to be done. BSS that is balanced salt solution is passed underneath the anterior capsular rim using a 27 gauge cannula. Some viscoelastic substance is expressed out. Now I want to see whether the capsule has been removed or not. Now hydro dissection is done. Fluid wave goes from one side to the other side. The nucleus is depressed. And here we can see the pupil is tending to become small. Some more visco, the nucleus has rotated. And now I go into the anterior chamber with the tip of the FACO handpiece. Now see, at this time the pupil is dilated adequately, more than 6 mm. Now as I go in and start aspirating, see what happens. The pupil becomes small, the iris starts dancing. So what I am doing is, since this is a soft cataract, I am not able to hold it. So I just try to give some support and here I want to do mechanical chop. Just support it there without using vacuum and try to slice the nucleus. And I have been partially successful. And now there has been a crater at the center and I am not able to take one hemineucleus out of the capsular bag. As I try to hold it, it just comes out. Vacuum has been reduced. Still, it's not holding. So I come out, inject some viscoelastic substance. The iris was tending to prolapse to the side ports and the main incision. Iris is reposited. And now, I am going to use a spatula kind of device to separate the two nuclear fragments, but I could not. So, what to do now? We have to do the case somehow. So what I do is I do hydrodissection again and see what happens. One heminucleus has prolapsed out of the capsular bag. So 50% of the job is done. Once a heminucleus prolapses out of the capsular bag, Removing this heminucleus is very easy. 
just have to go into the eye with the FACO handpiece and apply very little energy, say about 20% FACO energy and remove the heminucleus. Now what about the other heminucleus? The other heminucleus has gone into the capsular bag. Let us see how it was managed. I am using a Simco cannula and here I try to engage it and lift it. So with the help of the Simco cannula I have lifted off this heminucleus out of the capsular bag. Now inject some visco behind and then I go with the chopper first and then go behind the seminucleus and remove it using very little FICO energy, say about 20 to 25 percent FICO energy and vacuum. Remove this. Now the epinucleus is removed. So the nucleus and epinucleus has been managed. So we have overcome two challenges floppy iris and very soft nucleus. I call it dish technique. Dish means do it somehow. See in this case I have used divide and conquer, tried divide and conquer, could not do it. I have tried mechanical chop, I was partially successful. I could not lift up on heminucleus. Then I did hydrodissection and I was successful in lifting up on heminucleus and it was emulsified and taken out. What about the other heminucleus? It was lifted up with the help of a Simco cannula and then it was emulsified and taken out. So whatever is necessary you do it. This is dish technique. D I S H. Dish means do it somehow. Now, cortical cleanup has been done with the help of a 23 gauge Simco cannula. The posterior capsule has been polished. You can see that the posterior capsule is clean. Now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the capsular bag and antechamber is filled up with the viscoelastic substance. Now, this is focus force from Bosch and Long. The disadvantage of this lens is it opens up abruptly. No lens in the hydrophobic category opens off so first. It takes longest time. The Invista takes the longest time and this one focus force takes the shortest time both uh, from the same company. Viscoelastic substance is then removed, side ports are hydrated, Antichamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in your practice.